what's up guys what's going on today i have a paint video for you guys uh well i was gonna paint this this is a 2002 ford escape so i started um just standing this one and uh it had a little dent right here so i fixed that one up and i threw some primer over it and um i was gonna paint this so i ordered a kit online this is a single stage kit um i'm just showing you guys the truck as you can see it's already sanded I, went ahead and did this like ahead of time but i ordered a kit online uh it's a single stage it's, it's called jade green so this kit came out to like under a hundred dollars um and i just chose uh the paint here's the paint i can open the can right now but uh here's the paint as you can see there's like a difference in color um so you know when i saw the the picture of the paint online it looked just a bit darker a little bit closer to this so that's why i ordered it I, I wasn't trying to go color code you know color match it and you know respray uh i was just thinking of just something cheap uh something similar like in color so that's why i got this one so i'm thinking this is just like too bright green like it like it looks like you know like a green light green uh i don't know envy green <laughs> So I'm not too sure. I don't want to start spraying this. It just be too too lime green or whatever. So over here where I have a bunch of parts for the C10, and the frame is still right here. Um, I just haven't like continued working on it. I did like clean out all the exterior part of the frame, and I did throw some primer on it. Uh, this is just white primer. Uh, this is the frame just flipped upside down. I was gonna clean right here where the where the shocks go. Uh, there's a bunch of like grease and dirt this is a uh, part of the differential the seal was leaking and this is where it would splatter all the oil or dirt or whatever so I, i'm i'm still gonna clean that uh like most of this like the top is already clean uh the sides and of course this bottom which is the top part of the frame that's also clean uh, right here on the inside um right here on this inside i still need to just give it another go uh, to clean it but look at all this it's just dirt just powered like in here but i did take off like the suspension the lower control arm shafts right here with the whole control arms the upper control arms from over here in the bottom and uh like i left the whole frame just as is so i'm gonna come back this <laughs> this is this bracket is part of the front bumper this had has made it through this entire disassembly of this chassis uh this bolt is through this side but somehow I can't fit a socket in there. Uh, I can't fit a socket in there to take it off. So I need to grind it off too. <clears throat> uh, but there's the chassis. We'll come back. I want to throw some better 2K high fill primer. And go with the automotive like uh, urethane like base coat clear on this one. Uh, I thought about it, you know, a lot. And I think I'm going with the same uh, black crystal diamond. It's just a black base with a uh, pearl so it is very sparkly and then i'll throw a clear coat over that one uh same for some other parts like i had mentioned this grill for the gmc uh it's a chevy truck but it's a gmc grill that i have uh, i like the two headlights right here i have some in in a watch list uh, i still haven't purchased them but they're the projector lights uh, and it has a ring around it these are five and three quarter inch headlights so I want to order a set of four i think they come out to like 100 bucks uh just get the four lights and then i'm gonna paint this whole chrome piece that black crystal diamond in black and then the projector light getting to the paint like over here i have this fender this is a test fender we don't have a car that belongs to this fender so uh this one this color right here this is not the original color um this one i had previously painted it this is glip Tex. so this one is interior exterior paint high hiding beautiful porcelain porcelain like finish and it says alkyd alkyd enamel paint it says extremely durable enamel this one you can choose what color you want to like your tint and uh i got this one because it was only two dollars it wasn't sell uh, i've tried many rustoleum paint jobs but the rustoleum i've been i've been you know meaning to just mix a couple of rustoleum colors see what i get and then just spray that but if I could already choose a color from a book uh, and then just make it work for a car, 
that can also come out as a cheap option um, we just experiment but this one is just the paint itself i just sprayed it um, right here it had fallen so i had scratched it off but uh, this has already been sitting here for a while so today we're going to use this fender because this one is closest to the jeep so we're going to get this we're going to get this fender off up here i'm going to get some sandpaper and i'm going to just sand this one uh then i'm going to go ahead and get that single stage jade green and i'm going to spray it over this one that way i know for sure what kind of color that uh, gallon kit is This is the color, it's called Country Blue. Um, I don't know if I still have the content where I sprayed this. It was a few months ago though. But if I still have it, I'll put it on here. But we'll come back and experiment with some of these paints, adding some hardener, maybe adding some clear on top of uh, the paint. Um, but for now, let's keep going. All right, given that this is just a test fender, I'm not going to go too crazy with the sanding. Um, also, one more thing, since on the hood, I did spray a bit of primer. Uh, I do want to check how much this paint covers. So, I'm also going to just spray a patch right here. That should be good. I just want you guys to see that sky. It looks pink, it looks blue, it looks weird. It's not the camera settings. Uh, but I took the escape out. Um, over here I put the fender inside the shed. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and mix some paint. Over here I have the paint. Uh, this is the Jade Green Single Stage. This is from Clark's Wholesale Paints. The kit also came with reducer and the hardener so the way you mix this paint is eight eight parts paint two parts reducer and one part hardener and i already popped the lid so you guys can see it as you guys can see it looks like just green so we're gonna go ahead and spray it on this test fender uh see what comes out
So we have a little bit of ripple in the paint, uh, which can easily be fixed by wet sanding with some 2000 grit and just a buff, the cut and buff process. Uh, but this is just a test fender, so I'm not worried about that. I'm just looking at the color. If you can see right here, you could actually see like uh, the metallic in the paint. You see some glitter in there. Just zoom in just a little bit. Now there's that clear that's just a little bit ripply. But it does have some metallic gloss. It does have a lot of gloss also. So the color actually turned out pretty nice. It is just the right green. It's not too bright uh, for right here for this escape. It does have this, I believe it's an Aspen, Aspen green metallic. So this is gonna be good enough for it. Right here on this part where I had the primer, it did blend in pretty well. I, did, I do still have like a little bit of a run right there, but that was completely my fault. I went a little bit heavy on the first coat and uh, this, you know, you just learn as you go along. So, <clears throat> and also the weather right now, it's already dark. So, you know, it is pretty cold, but light coats is key, light coats. So this is barely a second coat and I already have full coverage. I should have had like one more coat to go. So 